Okay, so now we're looking at number 26, which is arrays with more than one dimension. Now, in our last example, we looked at user plus and one extra piece of information, and that's called a dimension in an array. But what you can do is actually store more than one dimension next to your variable. So, for instance, we're going to have um, friends is our variable. Now, nickname is our first dimension, which is there. Um, and actual name equals Robert. So you've got nickname again, phone, and then there's a phone. And of course they're pretend American phone numbers. So here's what I'm going to do. So here's our program that has all of that information in it stored with the various dimensions. And what we're going to do is run that and I'll show you what it does. So basically you've, you're having more than one piece of data attached to it. So rather than just being um, Rob name, you've also got Rob and phone. And you're going to see that we can in fact extend that. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. So let's have a look at it in the compiler. So here it is. Friends, and there we go. There's Rob, full name Robert, Rob phone equals that. So we run that and we can say enter the nickname we'll say Rob because it's the one I remember and it will give us back his full name which is Robert and his telephone number and press any key to continue but what I can also do is put in a third dimension so I'm going to say friends um, Rob again and I'm going to put the suburb he lives in actually you know what I'll put the type of his car in you know let's assume that I'm somebody who cares about that sort of thing so Rob Carr equals and let's say that um, Rob drives a Mazda. So, gee I'm making a mess of that. So, VJ, let's put in the third dimension for VJ. And what I'm going to do is just to make my life a bit easier is copy and paste that and just make the changes. So the third dimension is car and um, and he drives a Ford and let's have a look at Ash and let's say that Ash drives and this is where I'm getting a little bit um, vague because you'd think that I would know another brand of car uh, let's say drives a Holden and then we have car and so when we put in the nickname we're pulling back not just one piece of information but two but three so there we go so we're going to print a third line now we don't have to it doesn't have to be printed just because we've got it but I figure you know for the purpose of this example let's have a look at it so uh, yes friends nickname and car Okay, now let's watch this run. So I've added a third dimension. Enter the nickname, now I think Ash. There we go, so Ash, his phone number, and the third dimension, his car. So have a play with that, and you could use this to store quite a bit of information quite efficiently, um, and I look forward to seeing what you do with it.